Hello everybody, welcome to the next installment of Developer Log. And today I want to take a couple of minutes to go over um, the survey that we've sent out to you recently. Now you might wonder why the survey. Uh, there are actually a couple of reasons. One is, well, we're getting ready for Realm 100. So we wanted something cool and different. So we wanted to find out what you guys think. And also, uh, we in the past had a distinction between <clears throat> two different realm types. We had a what we call a hot core, a hardcore or mid-core realm, uh, internally at least. And there were two realms where there was a hard cap, uh, where uh, you know long-time veterans couldn't enter some of the realms which were meant for uh, players that uh, are just beginning or just on the second realm. And that was okay, but we never really you know quite worked it out. We wanted to have really realms where a person with lots of time to spend on row can go in and enjoy the game they like and a person who has a little bit less time, uh, they can go in that realm and enjoy the game that uh, they like. Now, I experienced that firsthand myself when I started. Uh, I still love Row. Uh, I played it hardcore. Um, now with, uh, you know, three little kids running around, um, I don't quite, I'm not quite able to uh, spend a uh, whole night fighting. So, uh, I would personally like a little bit of a realm which is a little bit slower where people, uh, you know, old people like me are there and I can compete with them. So. The survey was created partially to get an idea of uh, what kind of um, game you guys like to play and to see if there are maybe two or three realm types that we can create for you so that uh, the people that like to play a certain game can choose the realm they want to play on. So we had a great response on the survey, uh, probably the best response we've ever had, so thank you very, very much for that. It was, uh, it's great to get your feedback, it's absolutely indispensable. And let me share some of the, um, some of the interesting, more interesting um, things that came out of the survey. So um, not surprisingly, most of you guys play the game um, either every week and minute, or you play, um, you know, you do what you have to grow, uh, you do what you have to do to grow, but don't want to get into um, big wars, which is probably sort of like, uh, you know, a busy person uh, like me at this time who, you know, doesn't have time to play the game as much as uh, some other people that um, that play the game. So, anyway, um, regarding the speed, for example, um, around 37% of you thought that the speed of the game was uh, okay, uh, but half of you wanted a bit of a faster realm, faster um, server production, faster troop recruitment. So that's interesting. I'm going to see how we can address that, how we can give you perhaps realms with two different types of, types of speeds. Um, Clan limit, uh, most of you want some kind of a clan limit, only between 35 and 25% of you didn't want the clan limit. And the more you play on, the more time you have to play on row, um, the more likely you are to want a clan limit, which is uh, quite interesting, I guess it makes sense. Um, you know, the more active you are, you want a smaller clan which has active players. Another um, very interesting thing that came out uh, is troop speed. About a third of you like the troop speed the way it is, uh, while uh, you know around half of you want faster troop movements. That's something that was very surprising to us, in fact. And we were wondering, you know, when you're completing the survey, were you thinking from the perspective of an attacker or perspective on the person of defensive? So uh, that's an interesting thing, and uh, we are actually going to bring that to our 100 in an interesting way. But that more about that in a different video. Uh, but we wanted to we're probably going to ask you guys some more questions about this. We wanted to really find out what was your what were you thinking behind behind this because we're um, kind of worried to increase the speed twice as fast and, and what that would mean in the game. So, but we're going to be trying something interesting on ROM 100. So more about that in future videos. Sleep mode. So interestingly, only 70%. 7% of you do not want any sleep mode. Most of you do like some kind of a sleep mode, uh, with the 10 to 12 hour sleep mode being the most uh, uh, sought for, um, more ideal sleep mode. 17% uh, of you would like a longer sleep mode, perhaps 14 hours. And 35% um, of you would like a shorter sleep mode, so less than 10 hours. We also uh, mentioned that we're considering a weekend mode, something we experimented with the, um, in the RSs that, uh, well, some are still running and some one has finished. So uh, only between 22 and 33% of you do not want any kind of a vacation mode, uh, oh, sorry, weekend mode. Oh, and just to, um, before I go in there, um, in case you're watching, you're not sure what a weekend mode is, the idea is, is basically so you can uh, take a one or two days off per week from the gameplay. So, you know, you have a family function on Sunday, uh, perhaps you don't want to be telling your whole family that, I'm sorry, uh, I have to leave for two hours because I'm under attack or I'm, uh, you know, attacking somebody. So, um, you would be able to take, you know, one um, or two days per week off. 
sort of like vacation mode, but every week, basically, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, Tuesday, whatever works for you. So again, um, only 22 uh, to 33% of you did not want it. And the, um, you know, the more active you are in Realm of Empires, the less likely you are to uh, want a vacation mode. However, uh, between 70 and 60% of you do want some kind of a sleep mode with 41% um, preferring two days. So there, um, so 41% is a little bit misleading number the way it's positioned, but more of you prefer a two day uh, sleep mode than one day. So we'll be considering, um, we'll be seriously considering implementing that feature in the coming realms, probably not yet in realm 100. We also asked you about handicap, how do you feel about that? So at least 60% of you feel that a handicap is a good feature. However, uh, you guys prefer it to kick in at higher uh, ratio differentials. So you would prefer um, the handicap to kick in when a uh, person you are attacking is maybe a third of your size, maybe a fourth of your size, not just half your size. Or there was a uh, distribution between um, between those, some of you felt this way. It was a slight preference to uh, bigger uh, ratios. and. Um, I guess not surprising, the more time you have to spend on row, uh, the sooner you want the handicap to end um, in the um, age of the realm. And most of you feel that about 50% maximum handicap is ideal. Again, that means if you're you know, attacking a person which is extremely um, much, much smaller than you, um, then the highest handicap you can, you can get is 50%. So if you send a thousand knights, they are fighting us if you send 500 because of the handicap. So we also asked about um, age of cities um, and we're very happy that only 18% eight, of you thought that age of cities is not a good um, feature. And again, I should mention what age of cities is for some of you that maybe haven't yet experienced it. Um, that is in uh, later ages, you um, your villages become cities, what we call internally consolidation, which means say, Two of your villages become one city and the realm becomes smaller, it gets reshuffled a little bit. And rather, rather than having to deal with a hundred of your villages, manage them all, manage attacks, you are now dealing with say 50 villages. So um, at least that's what we're hoping is that the fighting is more exciting because it's, uh, you know, it's worth a lot more to gain one village now than it was when you had a hundred villages. So again, 18% of you, um, only 18% of you do not like it. Most of you like the uh, um, age of um, cities. Most of you like the two to one absorption ratio, which means that two villages become one city rather than three villages becoming one city. So uh, we'll probably be asking you more questions about that because we are um, uh, like to find out more what you, what you think about that. We have uh, some of our own uh, thoughts about this. And most of you feel that um, the time that the age of cities kicks in is um, good, so that's that's great. We also asked about um, fake limitations, something that we've, um, well, we introduced that actually many years ago, but we uh, cranked it up, made it more um, punitive, if I can say that in a negative way, in the, some of the recent realms, in the uh, realm 99 and the speed realms, where if you send an attack over a long distance and you send, you know, just a couple of rams because you want to uh, fake or spam someone, then um, you will lose uh, more uh, of your attacking force due to uh, desertion. So uh, between 29% and 58% of you thought that this is uh, limiting fakes to such a degree is not a good idea, uh, with the rest thinking that it should that we should limit it in some way. And again, the more time you have to play uh, or to play in row, the more likely you are to not like any fake limitation, any desertion. So that's interesting, and we'll be taking that into consideration and experimenting with that in, in, in the next round, round, round 100, which I will announce in a different video. But uh, this is just a little, a little hint. And lastly, we asked whether you like the legendary bonus villages. Now we got a lot of comments from you guys in many different uh, formats, on chat, um, in many places. And it was very, very interesting. I actually enjoyed reading your, your comments because uh, a lot of interesting thoughts are coming out uh, regarding legendary bonus villages. But if we just purely from the survey, 25% uh, of you do not like the legendary bonus villages at all. Uh, around um, 42-45% like them the way they are and around 20% um, like them with some changes 
and we've got lots of uh, ideas from you guys. Thank you again for that. So we'll be um, thinking about legendary bonus villages for next realm and thinking how we could adjust them to make them uh, more uh, appealing, I guess, to everyone. So that's it as to the survey results and stay tuned for further videos as we introduce Realm 100 and some of the cool new features that we're going to be bringing uh, in that. Until then, happy hunting! Hello everybody, welcome to the very first developer log. My name is Greg Bala. And uh, some of you might know me as Dark Channel from inside the game. Crazy awesome high stats like uh, super fast recruitment, high silver production, uh, huge